Hey, what up guys? In this one, I'm playing with two fans of the channel, Nick and Maria. And I just want to say to the both of you, thank you for having me out and scheduling and taking the time to figure out when we can both do this. I really appreciate that. So uh, they'll be featured in some shots uh, uh, during this video. So let's head out to the course and see how we all did. All right, starting off on this first hole with the wind behind. Fortunately, I hit a really good drive. And this is actually a pretty tough starting hole because there is a creek in the middle uh, near the green and it's a pretty long hole. So I just have a wedge into the green. I end up pulling it to the left-hand side and I'm on top of the hill. So I got a tough chip. Here's my chip attempt. I just wanted to start it on the hill and roll it onto the green. I end up being a little bit short. And here's the putt. And yeah, I end up draining it from off the green. So Nick and Maria are bringing me some luck today. And speaking of Nick and Maria, they'll be the first ones ever on the Golf Perfection fan cam. All right, it's going to be a little windy, but what's up, guys? I'm here without, with some fans of the channel, Nick and Maria. Hey, guys. Yeah, so they set up this tee time. I really appreciate the fact that we're just going to out here and have some fun, maybe feel some of their shots as well. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and play the course and see how I did. Yeah, we're big fans. There you so, go. Big fans. We watch you. <laughs> Golf perfection for a while, so hey. great to be on the channel. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, next up is a pretty straightforward par five. Nothing to this, but check out this drive by Maria. Maria is a very consistent driver of the ball. Everything she hit oh, off the tee right. pretty much went dead straight, right. and yeah, she was always out. playing from the fairway after her go. drive. All right, next shot. I end up hitting a five wood, and I end up fading it off to the right, and it ends up bouncing up over the cart path unfortunately so I have a tough chip to the green. I should have just laid up here but I just went for it. Uh, so I end up chucking it out of the dirt, not the best of lies. And here's my next chip onto the green. And yeah, it ends up going a lot harder than I thought and it rolls out. So I have a long one to save my par. So here's the par save attempt. And yeah, I just don't roll it quite enough. So uh, yeah, I end up getting my bogey one over for the day through two. This next hole is a pretty interesting hole. Uh, you want to be out on the right hand side and to give yourself a good shot into this two tiered green with a dip in the middle. Uh, and so I end up being kind of on the left hand side but fortunately the pin was in the center and not tucked away in the back left. So I just end up hitting onto the green but I have a really really tough putt that is like on the other side of this valley. So here's my putt, it rolls down the hill and it has way too much speed and like I said, uh, it's on the other side now and I have another downhill putt. So here's my par attempt and yeah, I leave that one short. So unfortunately I have another bogey, so two over through three, it could be worse. And just as I say that, it does get worse. I end up drawing my ball to the left hand side uh, and it goes into this dead, you know, dirt area. Uh, fortunately, they've been letting it die and not grow out anymore, so you can find your ball. But yeah, end up taking a chunky shot out of this dirt, uh, and so end up laying up on this par four. And so way, here's yeah. my chip attempt. And yeah, this one turns out to be really good. There's like a little down slope there that my ball just ends up going down, and I have a pretty short one from par. Uh, Nick is kind of blocking the camera here, but uh, you don't want to see my terrible miss, and so I end up tapping for bogey. All right, next up is a shorter par four. I end up taking driver again, and it goes out to the right a little bit, and I got fortunate enough that I have an opening to the green. So I really have just a short shot to the green. I should make better uh, use of these opportunities, but I end up hitting it a little long and a little bit to the right, maybe because I caught a flyer lie, but really no excuse. So here's my putt for birdie off the green. And yeah, it definitely was not a good putt. I end up roasting it by, and I have a pretty long distance for my par. So here's the par, and fortunately I end up saving it, so I'll take it. This next hole is a shorter par five. End up skying it ever so slightly, and then it gets caught up under the trees to the left, and I have a pretty, pretty uh, bad line for my next shot. So I'm just trying to get it out of this rough, end up chunking it and you know hitting the ground pretty hard. <laughs> Uh, my friend asked me if my hands were okay because he heard it all the way from over there. Uh, this next shot, I ended up just pulling this to the left-hand side. And so I'm about, I guess, maybe pin even with the flag stick. And so here's my chip. And yeah, I landed barely on the green, but it was rolling. And so it doesn't stop at all. I have no spin from that short distance. 
and I have a long one for my par. So here's my par attempt. And yeah, not a very good roll, so another bogey, four over. All right, this next par three is the only hole in the course that deals with water. Uh, I flare this one out a little bit to the right and being short of the green. Uh, but yeah, let's intro some par three shots from our guests. All right, we're gonna splice in some viewer uh, par three shots in this one just for fun. So let's see how everyone does. Fade off a lot of the way. Oh, almost on. Not bad. Are you gonna be able to chip on? Yeah. Okay. It's oh, gonna... that might be on the green. Oh, oh, settle, oh, settle. Too much. Oh, you hit it too good. <laughs> oh man, that had a good chance. So after some pretty good shots from our Golf Perfection family guests, I end up chipping on and getting close enough to where uh, I just tap that in. So I end up getting a par. So I'm only four over at this point. Next up is uh, into wind par four, 380 yards. Didn't hit the best of drives and ends up fading off into the right. So I have quite a long shot into the green. Uh, here's my uh, approach into the green and I end up clubbing up. And I need to get lucky here and I barely clear the trap so I have just a chip on uh, to the green uh, for uh, to get up and down almost actually hit the hole here and make it in uh, it ends up lipping out and so I have this little comeback uh, putt for par and so I make par so going into the ninth hole I'm only four over this par four is one of the harder holes on the course. You had to hit a really good drive into wind. And then the second shot is over a creek, a hazard that you need to be able to carry to get on. Uh, I end up taking my three iron here. Unfortunately, clip the tree just ever so slightly enough just to lose my ball into the creek. So I end up taking a drop and I really just needed to get onto the putting surface here. Got too cute with it, end up being short and it rolls off. And so I'm off the green putting for bogey. And I thought it was uphill and I was putting through fringe and I just roasted it by. So that's very unfortunate. And here's my comebacker for double. And yeah, I don't end up making that. So I end up getting a triple bogey after a hazard shot. So coming off that hole, not too happy, you know, ending my front nine with a triple. I end up hitting a pretty good drive to make up for it. And so I'm set up into the middle of the fairway. So here's my approach and in typical golf perfection fashion, I end up not getting onto the green. And so I'm on the left hand side that's and I'm pin even with the hole. So here's the chip. And I thought I hit a pretty decent one uh, and it ends up, you know, rolling pretty good, but the direction wasn't quite correct. And then I end up missing the par putt. So uh, a bogey after a triple, not feeling too happy about that. Uh, next up, I am just taking a six iron into a windy par three, and I end up being pretty short, so I have to chip on. But check out the shot from Nick. Oh, baby. Catch peace. Catch peace. Bounce. Yes! Oh! <laughs> All right, now it's my turn to get onto the green. And I'm taking out my putter here and playing it up way too high. Thought I was going to break to the left, but it didn't break at all. And so here is Nick's attempt at birdie. And he just leaves a little bit on the short side, but hey, tap in pars, that's what I like to see. Here's my uh, putt for par. And I guess I was inspired by Nick because I end up draining it, so not bad. Yeah, why don't you uh, intro yourself real quick and then say how long you've been playing golf and then uh, your favorite club in the bag. Hey guys, uh, I'm Nick from the Bay Area of San Francisco. I've been watching Golf Perfection for a long time. Uh, so big fans of um, of golf, but even bigger fans of the channel. I love how it's uh, representing NorCal. I'm um, showing you all the, yeah. all the great golf courses in the Bay Area. This is my wife. We both, you know, we're, uh, we both love golfing. Um, my favorite club, it's, uh, it's got to be my my driver. All right. It's not very good today. <laughs> hey, driver's always fun. That's a good answer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, thanks for watching. Absolutely. Maria, introduce yourself. How long have you been playing golf and maybe your favorite club? I'm Maria. And my favorite club is also my driver. There you go. Yeah, we've seen that today. It is super consistent. Yeah. It doesn't go that far, but it's consistent. Hey, yeah, thanks for watching, and let's keep going. More part threes to come. Subscribe and like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, this next drive, I end up drop kicking it to the left-hand side of the fairway. There was a guy that was waiting right where my ball was uh, going because he was going to hit into the other fairway, and his ball ended up in our fairway. 
Uh, but that being said, this next shot, I had a really long shot uh, into the green. So I just took my five wood just to get as close as possible. End up being short and right of the trap. So here's my attempt, and I just didn't want to be in the trap, so it was a little bit firm and a little bit left of my target, but I'm just glad I'm not taking any uh, sand shots here. Unfortunately, that was a terrible putt. Did not read the break correctly at all, so I ended up getting a bogey here. Next up is a cool little par 3. Sometimes that tree on the left-hand side comes into play if the pin is on the left. Uh, but the pin is behind the trap on the right and so i played it safe but now i have a super long putt so here's the attempt and yeah it ends up being pretty dang good i almost thought i was gonna make it so uh, yeah they just gave me the ball back it was that close and i'll take it apart this next par five uh, they took a ton of trees out on the right so taking driver is probably not the worst play now but i'm playing it like how it used to play and just taking you know three shots into the green, three like 200 yard shots. And unfortunately, this second one rolls a little bit too far and I'm underneath some trees. So I just take uh, my iron here and I punch out. So I'm in the front of the green. But yeah, I hit that second shot a little bit too hard to give myself a full swing into the green. So here's my wedge shot. And yeah, I don't know what happens here. It just ends up going to the right. And so I'm on in four and here's my par. Here's my par putt. It's sliding from right to left. And yeah, I just don't give it enough gas. So bogey, 10 over. All right, this is a you know medium length par four. I uh, just end up taking the driver here, pick up the tee pretty fast, and I hit it pretty hard. So I have just a short one into the green for my approach. Here's my approach, taking my gap wedge here, which is like a feel 100 club, end up hitting it uh, 87 yards uh, just past the flag. <laughs> And so I have a good chance here for birdie. And yeah, we end up draining it, baby. Yes. Send it to me, I'll put it in the video. <laughs> Alright, we got Nick on here again on the perfection oh, fan cam, oh, oh, and he just beautiful. pipes a drive into the middle of the fairway. I couldn't not include this. All right, being inspired by Nick's drive, I end up hitting this drive down the center of the fairway. And this one was in the wind, so about 250 yards is a pretty decent drive here. Uh, unfortunately, I squander it by hitting left of the green uh, on my approach shot, big surprise. And yeah, maybe I should be practicing this shot a lot more than I do. So here's my chip, and that's up being a pretty good chip. I uh, gave it a chance, rolled it right by, and here's my par attempt, not very long. And yeah, I just leave it on the low side. I end up pulling this one pretty bad. Uh, and yeah, so bogey 10 over. Now check out this shot from Maria. Oh, okay, okay. All right, someone is on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, got that. So as my on-course commentary indicated, none of the men actually got onto the green. Uh, Maria was the only one in our group who got onto the green on the par 3 17th, so kudos to her. So here's my chip, and it's a pretty decent chip. I just didn't want to be short and have it roll back to my feet, so I'm putting for my par from a pretty close distance. Yeah, unfortunately, I just left it on the low side, so 11 over going to the last hole. All right, this last hole is a par 5. That's into wind, and so you got to hit some pretty decent shots to get there in three comfortably. I end up hitting a drive that's pretty straight, popped it up ever so slightly, but in the fairway, no complaints. End up taking my three iron here and just hitting it into the center of the fairway. Uh, I think it rolled out ever so slightly to 190 yards. And then here's my approach shot, which is probably a full gap wedge with the wind. So it carried just about like, I don't know, like 80 yards or so. And so I end up having a birdie attempt on the last Great. hole. So here's the attempt. And I gave it a chance, but I left it on the low side. So 11 over for my score. As you can see, guys, didn't play the best, but it wasn't about that. It was about meeting with people in the golf, golf perfection family. So I just want to say thanks to both Nick and Maria. Appreciate you guys setting this up and, uh, you know, taking the time out of your guys' lives just to let me play golf with you guys. So I don't know. Just want to appreciate, just say appreciate it. And hopefully you'll be in some of the future. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah we, we so love it fun. out here. We, 
we had a blast. I don't know about you, but like I, I, I had a blast out here. A little hot. Playing with Matt. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's perfect weather actually, and uh, we love to do it they, again. They're they're in SF, so <laughs> we're enjoying the hot weather I, here. I, I'm dying here, but they're 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 thriving. So hope you guys like that one. More to come, and I'll see you in the next one.